Moving along at the Orphan Black event here at the House of Blues for San Diego Comic Con 2015. I'm joined by, let me make sure I get your last name right. Is Christian Brune? Brune. Like prune with a B. All right. Yeah. And you're sweating just like I am. Yeah, I literally, I'm catching my breath because I just got off stage from uh, twerking with Allison Cosplay lookalikes, the winner of like the Allison Cosplay uh, contest. So as the prize, they got to twerk with me, and I twerked with all of them, and I'm now still just sweating and catching my breath. The things they make you do for this show. Oh, my God. I will never live down that twerking scene. Well, they, It's so much fun, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so they don't have eight roles for you, so they said, you're going to twerk at all these events. Yeah, exactly. I've done a lot of twerking this whole weekend. I feel like I've you know, had a good workout every day. Nobody gets an easy role on this show. Nobody. No, no, no. They keep us on our toes. That's the way we like it. Uh, for those who don't know, you play uh, you play Donnie, Allison's husband, and it's amazing to see the evolution of Donnie going from what we thought was clueless to being kind of a douchebag and, and aggressive to falling back to being a do, uh, you know uh, clueless again, and then now he's all uh, on board with everything that's going on. Yeah, he's part of the family again. Uh, their marriage between the Allison and Donnie has been so rekindled, and, and now he's part of Clone Club. He's he sort of welcomed a lot of the, the Sestras into the Hendrix family as well, especially Helena. And uh, that's been such a fun journey to do, is just oh getting to work with other versions of Tatiana. One of the best scenes is the expression on your face. I think it was in the rehab facility when you walk into the room and you see two of them. And you're, you're not even shocked. You're just kind of like, I, I got to fucking deal with two of them. <laughs> yeah, Donnie... To keep in mind, like, the last three seasons have only taken place in the storyline, like, over three to six months. So just the amount of change that has happened in Donnie's life in the last, you know, few months is just astronomical. So he's been on a roller coaster ride. Everybody on the show has been. It's, it's insane. Well, I think more for your character, after uh, being smacked in the face with a golf club, thrown down the stairs, and tortured with a hot glue gun, that'll change anybody. Yeah, you know, that, that really leaves a bunch of scars, both physical and mental. Uh, it, I'll have to say it's a very enjoyable scene. Um, obviously, stunt doubles doing. Uh, I took the the golf club to the face. Uh, we had a stunt double to go get flung down the stairs, and then uh, I took the hot glue, and I also got to shoot Dr. Leaky, which was fun. Yeah, they let me do some fun stunts every once in a while, which is great. The fight scene between uh, myself and Jason Kellerman, played by Justin Chatwin, that was fun. That was a choreographed fight, and uh, it was quick. He dropped me pretty fast, but I got a good slap in there at least. The the car scene, uh, you've got to forgive me, uh, the, the gentleman who played the doctor. Matt Frewer. Matt, Matt yeah. Frewer. I keep calling him Lawnmower Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, or the guy from The Stand. But um, you're in the car, and he's 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 sick of you. He's tired of you yeah. of your whiny nonsense. He's like, we're going to do this with or without you. And he's just like, whatever, Donnie. And you're like, I got a gun. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to do this. Doesn't believe you. And then he, he, he talks you out of it. And yeah, then, I then put the gun down. I'm like, okay, you know what? This is not me. And then, and in a split second, it's like you one you don't. I guess that's normally what would happen with anybody in that situation. You don't realize what happened, even though you're looking at it, it hasn't hit you yet. A couple seconds later, you start going. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was fun because we only had one take to shoot that. It was like at the end of a Friday night of filming, and it was like already past midnight, and they had set it up to do it three times to like clean the car, get all the brain out of everything, the blood off everything. But it takes like a long time to clean a car of all that goop. And by the time we got to the scene, Ken Girardi, who was directing the episode, he was like, listen, bud, we only have time for one of these, so uh, don't mess up. <laughs> it's, like, it. it's like when they're uh, imploding a building or blowing up a car. Yeah, exactly. It was the same situation, and uh, it was a little scary, that's for sure. And we had, we had a guy hiding behind in the passenger seat with a goop gun, ready to spray me in the face with blood and brain. And uh, another gun spraying the car, a stunt guy taking the, the shot to the face, and me smacking the, the gun on the steering wheel. So, like, everything had to be timed between the three of us just right to hit that moment. And uh, luckily, it went off with a bang. Did they, pun, yeah, uh, did they, pun. did you practice with, uh, when you were trying to get that scene down, did you practice with, like, water or something? No, nope, nothing. Uh, I wanted to improv that. I didn't want to like. I didn't want to practice the reactions. I didn't want to practice the timing. It was more just like in the in the excitement of the moment. That's usually when you find the best stuff, and uh, you don't want to 
you don't want to kill it dead by just rehearsing the hell out of it. So I wanted to keep it as fresh as possible, and uh, we just we just went for it. It was kind of risky. It's a bit of a gutsy move on a, you know, it's like actually Saturday morning at like one in the morning by the time we get get to do it, and uh, luckily it worked out. <laughs> Do you think in season four we'll get to explore more of Donnie's porn collection? <laughs> I think he's just a fan of the whole Big Boob Blowies line, one through 74. Great series. Talk about Dean being loyal and dedicated to a series. You know, yeah. <laughs> Much like Clone Club is to Orphan Black, Donnie is so dedicated to his porn collection. I think he's he's gotten rid of the porn collection. I think I think now that his marriage is back on track, uh, he's, he's, he's pretty happy. He doesn't need porn. With the Clone Club, uh, obviously the reactions to everybody involved with this show, they're, they're in love with everything. Um, have you ever gotten any kind of um, negative reaction from the Clone Club where some people can't separate the show from their life? Like, we hate you, you put her in rehab. <laughs> the, uh, it was at the end of season one, um, I got it a few times. Uh, because at the end of season one, I was revealed to be her monitor the whole time. And... Uh, Every once in a while, I would meet someone on the street or in a store, and they'd be like, I know you from somewhere. Where do I know you from? And they'd stare at me, and all of a sudden, they'd just go, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Which always kind of threw me for a loop. But, but now that Donnie's a good guy, I don't get that too much, so it's all right. Yeah. Uh, what do you expect from Donnie in season four? Do you have any ideas? Not as far as what they're writing, but where you want to go with it. I would love to see Donnie spend more time with the other clones uh, to really get to know the other Sestras. Um, I definitely want to see more Donnie and Helena because that was just so much fun to play. And those two characters are just so ridiculous. I would love some time with uh, Felix as well and just explore that relationship. We've only seen each other a couple times over the course of, of the three seasons, but you know, there's stuff that could be mined there, I think. so. I don't think Felix is your type. No, but... That, or you're his type. But that's what makes it the best is like get, get odd couples together, these odd pairings. Like Donnie and Helena at first were just so like... Uh, what the hell's going on? And then they really bonded. Anytime Felix has been in a scene and you were in the room, he always ca caught a, um, the, gl the glance that he gives you is like when a teenager has their friends around and they're looking at dad and like, oh, dad, you're just yeah. embarrassing. Leave me alone. I am a total embarrassment to Felix. <laughs> it's great. I love it. All right. Thank you, Christian, so much. Uh, season that well, season four starts in 2016, which is great news. You, uh, we found that out. And the DVD comes out in August. Yeah, and uh, we get back to work end of September, so we're all chomping at the bits to start filming, especially after seeing all the madness here in San Diego. I want to see a Donnie figure in a tracksuit. Yes, or just tidy blueies. Or the uh, the variants that's like maybe the Con Collective, yeah. uh, the uh, him in the car covered in blood. That would be awesome. I would love that. That'd be great. Thank you so much, man. Thank you.